Workflow offers several methods of machining. I'm going to show you two out of the three methods. Full automatic machining is achieved through the planning board and semi-automatic through machine feature command. Press planning board and workflow will now populate the planning board with the machining method stated by workflow. As you run your mouse over each command you'll see the target feature highlight. You can overrule the planning board by simply selecting a command and deleting it. Or using drag and drop you can reorder how the machining method is deployed. Once you are satisfied, you may now select Apply. And, as the name suggests, the machining strategies are now applied to each feature according to the order specified within the planning board. You will notice the machining sequence window will now begin to fill with the CAM instructions. Ordinarily, the creation of the CAM instruction would be achieved manually. Thus imagine how much time saving the planning board is offering you. We've now nearly created 70 plus CAM instructions, so it's now time to test the integrity of the tool pass using the machine simulator. Press play on the top left hand side. The tool pass will begin to deploy, with the machine tool model now accurately simulating each and every movement. You can switch off the simulation for ease of viewing. Do this by stopping the playback and now turn off the machine and play again. Observe the sequence window on the left hand side. You can see every single CAM instruction created in workflow. You can fast forward by clicking a instruction further down the sequence window and now ask simulator to play again. If there was a collision within the machine simulator, this would be reported back to you. Now, let's go back and let's do a double click on the CAM instruction. You can edit this CAM instruction, in this case we have our roughing cycle. And again, notice that we have pictures on dialogues and cotton text sensitive help. I'll now show you semi-automatic methods achieved through the machine feature command. Firstly, I'll delete the current set of CAM instructions. I'll select Machine Feature, asking it to rough. And then I just simply pick one of the 2D pocket features. The CAM instructions are again applied. Let's just do that again. This time, let's switch to both, meaning roughing and finishing. And now I will select the whole feature. Yet again, the CAM instructions are being applied. 